Okay, I'm just refurbing this little stove, but that's another video to come, perhaps. But we're on with experiments with fire bricks. Now, those have seen the last couple of uh, ceramics wood-fired kilns, kiln videos, uh, will realise we're thinking about fire bricks and reflective material and stuff like that so we're going to make some fire bricks have a go but if you run an old stove like for instance an old 1950s Rayburn range then you'll know that there are fire bricks inside the firebox and you know they wear out after time and you've got to replace them now in the past I have got the old-fashioned fire bricks that were from the sides of a an old open coal fire and cut them down but they're increasingly difficult to find and um, this is a way that you can make your own which is interesting but it's an experiment and first of all what we've got here is a bucket of liquid clay. Now I've taken, I've dug some clay and broken it up into small bits and then soaked it for 24 or 36 hours and then um, I've whizzed it up with the plaster mixer which is there. So I'm just going to whiz it up again because it's been sat for maybe 36 hours again there was a little bit of water on the top of this that has settled out so I've, I've um, poured that off I'm going to mix it up and to that I'm going to add one kilo of sifted sand because this bucket contains seven and a half or 7.4 kilos of clay before I added the water so I weighed the clay before I added the water yeah. So I know how much there is there. So one kilo of sifted fine sand as temper. And then I'm going to add an equal volume of sawdust. That way when I fire it the sawdust will burn out and leave lots of holes and, and create a refractory surface all the holes means that the heat will not transfer anywhere near as much as a solid clay tile or what have you so let's give it a go and um, make it up as we go along you may remember I have got some of these type of uh, fire bricks in the kiln at the moment but they shrink um, I think an 8 inch tile shrunk down to a 7 so I've made a frame of a 9 inch so that will get an 8 inch tile you've got to remember it shrinks quite a lot so don't don't make it perfect the right size make it even in fact make it just a little bit too big so if you want a 6 inch then make a 7 or even 7 and a half because you can always cut it right let's crack on One kilo of sand and I'm, I'm not going to add all the sawdust at once but basically I've got an equal volume nearly this is slightly smaller bucket so let's just 
dump that in there. That's pretty good. I might just add a bit more. That was 1.7 kilos of sawdust by the way and we've probably added 1.5 kilos but I think it's more to do with volume than anything else. I'm going to give, I'll call that a day uh, I don't want to overdo it and have uh, fire bricks that don't behave. So the wind's getting up, but we've got to crack on with this. That's not a bad consistency. I'm just wondering how to do this. Should I have piece of plastic underneath this. I probably should. But that's pretty good. I'm very pleased with that consistency. So I've changed my mind. I've got this piece of board. It's an old bit of staircase. There we go. Got right off. Typical. Try and make the top smooth, although I don't know why. Nice and sticky this stuff, which is great. Right. That should have been further along, never mind. So I would say that these are not far short of an inch and a half thick.
so the camera battery went flat and I didn't realise This is a slightly wetter as we went down the bucket. That's something to be aware of. There are still a few holes in the sides. And on with the next one. But hopefully you find this interesting. No doubt in the next kiln video you'll see me loading these in the kiln as far as a stove I imagine if you put them in place once they're really really dry put them in place and fire them in the stove itself I don't know whether that would work or not but um, hopefully you found this interesting sorry about the wind noise but you know I'm cracking on with this so this is it's happening today so I will catch up with you soon. Cheers for now. So the narrative on this video is a bit uh, out of sync, but this is very light. So there we go. Really super light. And it rings. There you go. We're going to test that as part of the kiln wall.